Hello, everybody, and welcome to Professor P's podcast. I'm Natasha Palumbo, aka Professor P. I'm known for evoking the essence of spirituality by bringing the energetic fire, activating the mind, and speaking the truth. I'm so honored that you are here with us today. I thank you for joining. This podcast is focused on entrepreneurship, empowerment, and energetics. You're going to find a wealth of information inside, guest speakers, and the elixir, a dose of energetic power. So let us join in on today's podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Professor P's podcast. I'm so excited for you to join me today. I hope you all are doing well out there. I want to thank you always for your love, your support, sharing out the podcast, um, telling me how much it inspires you and encourages you. It really warms my heart when I hear the feedback because that's exactly what I hope it's doing and have designed it to do. And today I'm coming with the elixir some energetic power for you. And so your dose today is this. Success is not a secret. It is a system. That's today's episode. Success is not a secret. It is a system. I want you to set with that, my dear ones. There is no secret to success, but there is a system. And each person has their own system that is coded to them, for them. Take a deep breath with me right now, everyone. Come on. Take a deep breath. Big, deep breath. Fill it up. Hold it. Release it and set in this truth. You are born in this lifetime for a purpose. You have a calling on your life and you will fulfill it if you faint not. It is not going to be easy. And as the saying goes, nothing worth having is easy. It will take work and hard work at that. But then there will come a time where you will have a season of ease. Woo! Let's get an amen for a season of ease. And from this place, you will awaken even more to the truth that all things work to the good. All things work to the good. I'm telling you, Professor P is here to tell you all things work to the good, that indeed you have been chosen, that your harvest has at last come in. You see, we climb to the mountaintop, not that we are going there and being placed there at the top of the mountaintop. That's not why we climb the mountaintop, everyone. We climb the mountaintop so we can see the promised land. (laughs) So we can see the promised land and go take possession of it. This is the journey that you are on. So let's set for a minute. Now, you know, if you've got your notes, I want you to take out a notepad and a pen. And I hope you take some notes today. And you know, I'm going to give you some homework. But let's start by defining system. So the dictionary defines system as two definitions. There's two definitions for systems that I want you to know about. A set of things working together as parts of a mechanism or interconnecting network. That is so sweet, that last part. Interconnecting network network. Do you know how powerful your network is? You know, I love the saying, your network is your net worth. Woo! Okay, again, I'm going to say that definition again so you can write it down. A set of things working together as parts of a mechanism or interconnecting network. Underline interconnecting network as well. Now, here's the second piece. A set of principles or procedures according to which something is done, an organized framework or method. We're going there today. A set of principles or procedures according to which something is done, an organized framework or method. You're going to be creating your structure your method of how you do things. You are going to do this by trial and error, baby. How many of you already been through some trial and error? Now, you guys know this is my favorite part. I get so excited when I ask to see your hands and they're already going up. I see you out there. I feel you out there. Your hands are going, a lot of trial and error, a lot of learning by trial and error. (laughs) 
Beta to be better, baby. That's what I always say. Listen, these trial and errors, they're just betas. You know, have you ever heard the term of a beta? It's a test run. (laughs) Beta to be better is what I always like to say. It's because it's okay to try things out. It's okay to learn by trial and error. But there's also a piece of self-awareness that I want you to really anchor in. You are always going to be learning. And I really, please don't ever stop learning. Okay, some of you may not always be learning. But here, if you're listening to my podcast, and you're here, you're a person who's always going to be learning. We're just going to call it like it is. I want you to stay passionate about knowledge. I want you to stay passionate about reading. Don't take reading for granted. Don't take reading for granted, everyone. Please pick up a book and read it. Now, I know it's okay to listen to things and you're listening to the podcast and you might be a book listener and that's fabulous too, but I want you to sometimes stimulate your eyes. It's a different reaction in the brain when you pick up paper, when you pick up a book, holding it in your hand and you're reading and it's reacting in your brain. It's different. Please don't stop learning. This is how you're going to create your system and magnify it and be able to perfect your system. I want you to be a researcher and always be critically thinking. I need you to open your mind and then go there often. You will need to be anchored to yourself and know what works for you and what doesn't. Oh, I can't tell people enough of this. And you know where a lot of this is rooted? I want to be honest with you. What did you do when you were little? There is so much secret sauce in your childhood. There's also a lot of damage there too, baby. Trust me, I know. There's also a lot of damage. Trust me, I know. But let me tell you this much. There's a lot of what you have been designed to do trapped in your childhood still, your giftings, your callings. You're going to need to be anchored to yourself and know what really works for you. You may not be a morning person. If that's the case, don't buy into this notion that successful people are early birds. This is not true. The early bird doesn't always get the worm. I'm a night owl and I can promise you this much. I caught my worm. I might have even caught two or three of them. Then I went to bed. And if I greet the rising sun dancing in its golden rays of yellow and orange, it's normally while I'm sitting on the beach or in the middle of a Sedona vortex or something at the edge of the ultra limits. It's an experience that turns into a memory. Rest and awakening are instrumental in the journey of success. So understand your energy and manage it well. Discovery of self is the key. See, I understand my energy level. I know how it works best. I respect myself enough to stop trying to fit into a mold that doesn't fit me. I am one of a kind and so are you. This is what is so beautiful about us being human. No two of us are the same. Not even identical twins. I want you to take a minute right now and just look at your fingerprints, look at your hand, look at the lines, and look at the design. You need to understand you are unique. Every one of us are unique. I love this quote by Leonardo da Vinci. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress. Mm, Thank you, Lord. And grow brave by reflection. Whew, I'm caught up. Let me say it again, everyone. I'm a little caught up. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink. But those whose heart is firm. Put your hand over your heart right now and thank it for being so firm. Yes, I feel you. Thank you for doing. I yes, put your yes, feel it. Feel it. Thank you for being firm heart. Who's conscious? Put your hands on your head and keep it also on your heart. Together this is your conscious and who's conscious approves their conduct will pursue their principles unto death. Now, let me take you back to the top and where I gave you the definitions. A system, a set of principles or procedures according to which something is done, an organized frame, work, or method. You see, the quote that I just read is right on the money. 
I want you to smile in the face of trouble. The distress will only make you stronger. Your bravery will be rewarded. And I want you to build a set of principles to live by, to build from. They are part of your system. They will be the reason for your success, your principles. Now, as I have shared already in several of my podcasts prior to this one, have been principles for you. You are welcome to go back and re-listen to them all. I encourage you to listen to The Vision is Worth Waiting For, the very first episode that I put out. I encourage you to go listen to The Story of the Star. I encourage you to go listen to Quantum Physics, The Mini Lesson. I encourage you to go listen to It Is Okay to Not Be Okay. And here is what I leave you with today. I need you to set with what makes you work well. Figure out your energy levels, write out your principles, the belief systems. I encourage you to go back and listen to the power of water. I encourage you to go back and listen to the power of words and thoughts. I encourage you to go back into the episodes prior to this and listen to the principles and see what you can draw from them. You're going to pull from them and you're going to create your own system, your own principles, and you're going to go forward. And I can promise you this, the work is not going to be easy like I started in the beginning, but it will be worth it. And a season of ease will come in and you will rejoice in that season of ease. And it is okay to be able to get comfortable. But as I heard one of my old coaches, Kendall Ficklin say, the other day. Do not become complacent. There's a big difference in comfortableness and complacent. We never want to become complacent because then we have given up. Don't become complacent and stop pursuing your success through your system. Everything is methodical. Everything is strategic in nature. Even every living organism has a sense of order to it. Look at the trees and see how they grow. Even in chaos, we can find the production of order coming through to give us stable ground to actually reside on. I need you to remember, you have the power within. Thanks everyone for listening today. I hope you received a lot out of that episode and are feeling energized and ready for whatever lies ahead. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it out. Thank you in advance for doing so. Please also connect with me on social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Natasha M. Palumbo. And until next time, be encouraged, be empowered, and as always, be well.